Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jake, this channel is called Jake of All Trades, and today we're gonna be doing a brand new song by Nightwish called The Day Of, and what do you think you're doing? You can't be recording right now. Dude, what are you talking about? Why'd you interrupt the intro? It's not even the day of, you're recording the intro the day before. Well, I mean, I have to record this the day before, otherwise I'm not gonna get it out on the day of, which I wanna do because the song's called The Day Of. That's gonna make us lose all of our credibility. Like, people aren't gonna find this believable anymore. Really? I mean, obviously we're not twins, and we've already established that you create us through your little bubble wand magic, and, like, my acting is so cringy, there's no way anyone would find this believable. I mean, don't you think so? Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jake, this channel is called Jacob Full Trades, and today I'm doing a song on the day of that it comes out for a song that's called The Day Of by Nightwish. I'm not gonna waste a lot of time with the intro here. There isn't really much to say other than I'm excited to see what their, what their second song from the album is gonna be like. So without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, here we go. The Day Of, Nightwish, official video. Here we go. A new virus has now been discovered. You may be infected by mundane groceries. In an unprecedented turn of events, astronomers have recalculated the flight path. Several people have been evacuated from the site. Oh. But approximately... Didn't know it was going to be... starting off on a... zombie-esque note. This is a very different note for them. Dystopian nightmare. Getting sucked into the TV. It's a cool section. They're taking a long time to get into the heaviness. Flora's vocals seem a little buried. She's really buried in this. Really intriguing. Finally, hear the guitar a little bit. This is very different from what I've heard from them before. I'm hearing a lot of orchestra, a lot of bass. Oh. Is that a children's choir? It's almost like the 
those O's from the choir stand out more than Laura's voice. So I had to review that video again here to try and get a little bit better grasp of everything because when it's very visually stimulating, it's sometimes hard to focus on the music and the auditory stimulation also makes it hard to focus on the video. So it's like the whole experience can be a little bit overwhelming on the first run through. And I'll say that the video was well produced. The theme of the lyrics, the very apocalyptic type imagery that they write in the lyrics is very well illustrated in the video itself with the lyrics again i'm not a super i'm not super good at interpreting lyrics especially when they're very heady like you've got these different references and fancy words that are way above my intellectual level things like made up the sun rising made sense of echoes flying uh, there's some other ones there too like purgatory same old story i know at least know what purgatory is cower before a caliphate glory the big read of today will gallow you, keep you small. There's definitely some references there to, I don't know if it's to like literature or movies or, you know, maybe 1984. I haven't read that one. I kind of get the general concept, but I actually haven't read it. Maybe it's a reference to that. Maybe it's something else. I'm not entirely sure. Please drop some context for those in the comments. I'm either taking away that they're kind of talking about the times that we live in and like oh, everything seems to be falling apart and it's chaotic and crazy and we're gonna all die. We got AI coming to kill us and everything else. Or if they're commenting on that and being like, that's all narratives just to scare you into like falling into line and being like the good little soldier of the hive mind, big brother, whoever it is that they're referring to. It could be like a religious figure, could be like a you know government figure, whatever. It could be a bunch of different things, but that's kind of what I'm taking from it. So it's either like talking about that sort of stuff or railing against that sort of stuff. But again, general end of the world, you know, we're all doomed sort of theme is what I'm picking up here. I, I do have to say, though, the lyrics are really brilliantly written. I love the melody. I love the creativity of the song, the arrangement. The one thing, and this is a biggie, and I started noticing this, maybe this is just picking up on some other reactors to their last song, uh, Perfume of the Timeless. I kind of start hearing what they were talking about when they were saying like, the mixing is interesting. <laughs> I'm not an audio engineer, so I my opinions probably don't really count. <laughs> but obviously, I'm. these are just my thoughts from listening to it. The song was very, very bassy, very, very bassy. And I don't mind bassy in the right contexts. Like if a song is meant to be that, bassy can be very, very good. And it's like, oh, I love the, the bassy feel. Like it just kind of like rattles my chest and just like shakes me to my core. But here it was very bassy, but then the orchestra was also very overwhelming to the mix. I could hear floor but not very clearly. And I couldn't really understand the words that she was singing. I had to read the lyrics on the second run through in order to like kind of get most of what she said. There were a couple words that kind of popped out here and there, but for the most part, she seemed pretty buried amongst the, the bass, the drums and the orchestra. And the guitar too, I love good heavy guitar. And for a lot of the song, it didn't seem like it was very present. It's a very different style Nightwish song than what I'm used to. Usually kind of got the sort of rhythm 
going. This was far from that. Very, very different style than what I'm used to seeing with Nightwish. And I like the change up. I like the, the creativity and kind of breaking out of the general Nightwish mold while still keeping their personality. But at the same time, when the guitar did come in, it was also kind of drowned out. It didn't sit on top of the bass and kind of add that crunch to it that I would expect with most rock metal mixes. And it was kind of buried. And only in the, like, kind of the breakdown section did it finally really come through. It was a little bit audio audibly there before that in the, I think, the chorus leading into that. But other than that, it was definitely hard to pick out. And I was trying to figure out in the with the rhythm guitar, because it was so bassy, I was kind of like, did they pull like an eight string drop tune, like one of those detune pedals where they just like drop it an octave sort of thing? Or is this just like the the light, you know, regular standard or maybe E flat standard tuning still there? And it's just like very much buried under the bass, so it's hard to tell. It was a little bit difficult for me to discern that. Like, I don't have terrible headphones. They are budget headphones. When I got my headphones, it was like best budget headphones I can get. <laughs> I think they were like 200 bucks or something. Anyway, I don't think they're crappy headphones, <laughs> but I've heard like really good mixes through those headphones. And this was kind of like lots of orchestra, very bassy, floors buried, the guitar is buried. I could barely understand what Floor is saying, if at all. Again, I'm not sure if I'm being influenced by other reactors who have checked out the song. I'm like, oh, this is, an, this is a weird mix. I mean, I didn't really pick up on it with Perfume of the Timeless, but I heard people kind of saying the same things about Perfume of the Timeless. But with this one, maybe those comments were starting to affect how I perceived this one. Or maybe it was there the whole time and I just didn't notice it until someone else broke it out because I'm not professional <laughs> at this sort of thing. Anyway, I, I'm not gonna go down that rabbit trail. So those are my general thoughts on the song. I thought, again, well-written song, very cleverly written lyrics, the melody choices, the overall arrangement is good. It's creative, it's out of the mold that Nightwish does normally, but it's just mixed strangely. And so if you guys got some other thoughts on this and want to disagree with me, <laughs> go ahead. I, I welcome that feedback here. I am not a professional audio engineer or anything like that. I am trying to absorb and learn as much as I can about different bands, different musical styles, and, you know, implement some of it into my own music and writing and stuff. Hopefully that's a little bit down the road here. So anyway, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, turn on all notifications so that you don't miss anything going forward. If you have any suggestions for other Nightwish songs that you'd like me to check out or any other bands that you'd like me to check out, or if you want to hear any guitar covers, vocal covers, or we'll see me do some weird short stuff, anything related to music, drop it in a comment below. I'll give you a shout out whenever I do any of those videos. I also want to thank Jonas S for your continued support on Patreon. We really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. That's it for this video. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. God bless you and rock on.